Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. This is part 2 of my DUI 2x72 inch belt grinder. And uh, I realized on the first video, uh, just showing the parts uh, didn't make much sense to many people maybe. So this is my second part. I'm still waiting on parts. Um, mainly the motor that I mentioned that, that I bought a new one and it came defective and so that I returned and <clears throat> now I'm waiting to get the money first before going and buying another one but I wanted to show you the inverter that I'm gonna use for driving it and actually it was a good thing that the motor came defective um, for one reason it was a 1.5 horsepower motor and now I will buy a 2 horsepower motor which is the recommended power for 1 horsepower for every uh, inch of width of the belt so and this is actually 1.5 kilowatt which is 2 horsepower inverter and uh, I thought with the other one I would save a little money and be more on the safe side but uh, I don't see when these motors just turn and um, they turn fast but it's not like you're it's a belt grinder it's not like you're cutting directly with a big saw blade or something like that so uh, I'm pretty sure it will work fine and this is rated for 1.5 kilowatt slash 2 horsepower so I'm confident it will work and anyway um, let me get to the construction of the um, <clears throat> of the belt grinder somebody asked me for plants well they're actually in my head and once I finish and have it working I will uh, share all the plants I mean the exact dimensions and the parts and whatnot because this is also a work in progress and I'm figuring some things out as I go and making additions and um, but this is how it looks like uh, I actually used a zoom out feature to be able to get this into the picture anyway <clears throat> Let me start on the top. Uh, what you see here are the pillow bearings and this I didn't know exactly how long I would need and ordered it longer than I needed and figured I would cut it myself but uh, although I would be able to cut this I would never get a nice smooth surface like that cutting it. So now that I know exactly how many millimeters I need um, I will order a new one because this costs like a couple of bucks and I rather have this left over for any other project I'm sure I will make more and uh, have this then exactly be flush here same goes with this this is actually much easier to cut of course but again I figured I would might need this for something else and I will order it again with the exact uh, length so I don't have to cut it. This was my um, holder for the die cutter, thread cutter. And uh, this I might reprint and because I don't need this flange here. I just like how it feels in my hand somehow. So I will reprint this but I can print it of course in the same size. And as you might notice I'm making this all screwed together so there is no welding involved since I don't have a welder and obviously this is aluminum and um, yes and uh, actually this plate I had drilled holes for another project that used a 80 by 80 profile and I could use exact holes for it and um, to mount it on here which is actually quite nice now and <clears throat> I was gonna say oh yeah and I just don't drill into the wood because this is particle board not uh, thick but 
a screws wood strip I'm using these nuts that you hammer in from the bottom and the uh, machine screws screws into that so and I had to order more because I'm short one for this part here not screwed down yet so that's how I what I use for mounting it onto the table and I mentioned I will cut these legs and uh, make this so I can um, for working on it but for when I use it but for building it it's actually nice because it's in my height of my eye and it's easy to do um, <clears throat> with the inverter I thought about first mounting it here but uh, as I'm will grind metal of course uh, I have a little concern about dust or metal shavings getting into here so I might just mount this underneath the table and then use the remote controller and mount that over here uh, I will probably go that way and I will use a regular switch and I ordered another potentiometer for the thicker, sh thicker shaft so I will use that for the speed control and since I have now aluminum um, material as I mentioned the whole thing started to be able to um, cut this to or sand it down to shape and I have of this uh, aluminum material I bought the one by two meter sheet and so I have plenty and I can make uh, panels for it so that I will then use to turn it on and off for the uh, speed control and initially I had also this aluminum bar that I had left over from my CNC mill that I built like about seven years ago, five years, five, six, seven years ago. And I was going to use this to attach a table attachment or whatever you call it. Um, but then I figured it was not long enough actually for my taste. And uh, well, anyway, I will use long story short another 40 by 40 profile which I mount here, which is going to be slideable. And this will be my initial table and uh, use that as a table. And for the part that you mount the front wheels on, I have this part of aluminum and I did design this uh, Catsoft Eagle which I really love that program because I can design all the things for it what I need on there and print out and I look at it and before I had this round shape and then I figured since this is extrusion and everything is square I made it into this shape and what I also did is I will have, of course, this will be it mounted like that. It will be rotated. And to get the rotation to a 90 degree, I have another hole. All these holes will be drilled and then uh, filed down to the semicircle. And then I, have a, I will have additional holes, which of course will go from here to here with the screw and then I can position it to 90 degrees and 45 I could add 30 degrees if I like to I'm not sure yet but that's what I did and I had like several other ideas initially of course I thought it would be in the middle the hole but then if you tilt it um, <clears throat> it goes uh, you lose the height and then I figured I will make it offset. I haven't seen anybody doing it that way but that's what I will do so I have it offset and that's what I will use <coughs> and I will do this today later on and <coughs> this is the spring for kitchen cabinet uh, 
door and um, I'm not sure I think 120 Newton is a little bit much because I did mount it here and if I try this to move this you see the plastic here moving out of shape and I don't know how this thing was supposed to work um, there are two plastic um, no, now I cannot find them where I put them there are two plastic things that uh, clip in here to kind of put it in place but even then uh, it moves so anyway I will order some other connectors out of metal obviously so I will have no problem with that and I will order another uh, strut with 80 Newton that's the lowest I could find and have that and here you can see how the whole arm is moving if I just take this out and you can see how the bearing moves and this is like really really sturdy I have no doubts about that and I will use for the contact not the contact wheel the alignment wheel I have this um, oh man I cannot think of the name Scharnier in Deutsch in German um, anyway you know what it is so I will use that and I have the, the screw right now is a, sticking a little bit out I put my finger in there too and I will shave it down a little bit here at an angle and a little bit from here so I can right now I mean I have no problem having it like 90 degrees so it will go a little lower and it will of course go higher when I mount it in here so that's what I'm gonna use I'm all gonna use this plate over here and then the wheel will be mounted now on these wheels I will put them in my lathe and I will grind a little bit of uh, uh, roundness to it so it will track it that was that and oh here I will have actually another short piece of 40 by 40 aluminum because having this use this uh, holder here for the shaft I went out to this on this side so I had to put um, another piece of aluminum here and these are the three studs that will hold that aluminum here and then with the two holes with the two nuts over here will go through the holes over here and I will had ordered these many long time ago these are eight millimeter so you can attach it and uh, screw it down or hold it down by hand I might get four more of these and replace those screws as well so I can move the whole thing back and forth and the same with the table and uh, I think this was it for now as I'm sure as soon as I finish the video I will have something else and <clears throat> anyway so I will not be using this we'll save it for another project I'm sure something will follow and um, yes so I'm really looking forward to finish this I had it I had even the the belts hanging on the wall as decoration for a long time not a long time I just hang them there but I have them for a long time and uh, we will see how it goes so the next video hopefully will be in a few days and I want to make also this video because I promised I will make the video and um, anyway the next video will be in a few days when it's hopefully finished when I have the motor and mount everything oh yeah motor I took the wheel off that uh, that I bought this will be the contact wheel I think it's called and um, also the reason why I'm glad that the other motor didn't work was the other shaft was 19 millimeters 
and I actually thought this will be 19 but this is 20 millimeters so I would have to put something in there and um, to make it fit and not turn but the two horsepower motor has a 24 millimeter shaft so I will put this somehow in my lathe and uh, turn the hole bigger to 24 millimeter make it a tight fit so it's not it's gonna be central and it's not gonna be wobble and of course cut a key the the square for the key nut or key I don't know how you call those that it's not gonna turn down and I will have to make a mount for the motor of course because I'm not sure exactly of how the holes on the motors will be so anyway this is it if you have any questions or ideas or suggestions uh, do let me know and um, I will answer them and thank you for your support um, you have my links in the video description my Tindy store PayPal and uh, Patreon whatever you would like to help out if not it's okay too but at least like the video if I mean it doesn't cost you anything one click like it I mean I don't think this is bad I don't think there's anything that not to like on this build and uh, if you want to be notified uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you will get updates anyway thanks for watching take care everybody